I would like to invite Professor Dr. Burçin Erol, the head of the Department of English Language and Literature, to make the opening remarks. Most honorable vice director, respectable dean, uh, heads of departments, colleagues, students, and all Shakespeare lovers. It's a pleasure to welcome you all to the Shakespeare 450 conference organized to celebrate the 450th birthday of Shakespeare. Whenever someone asks me what department I am from, when I say English literature, the response is always, oh yes, Shakespeare. In 2003, BBC World Channel organized a worldwide vote to elect the greatest Briton. Each week, a documentary of an hour for the 10 candidates was aired, among which were Shakespeare, Darwin, Newton, Brunel, Queen Elizabeth I, and Lady Diana, in addition to some others. Surprisingly, to almost everyone's astonishment, Shakespeare wasn't the winner. The follow-up program evaluated and discussed the results and the reasons, and it was stated that uh, the reason for Shakespeare not being elected the greatest Briton was very striking. It was stated that he had become too universal. This goes to explain Shakespeare's everlasting appeal. He has been translated to almost all languages, to my knowledge, over 80 world languages. He has been staged to native audiences in totally unknown languages. He has been put into new mediums of expression, such as cartoons and animations. Although Shakespeare is lauded as a master of words, his plays have not lost anything in ballet and dance form. His appeal is ever valid, hence he is our everlasting contemporary. His works seem to be relevant for all times to such an extent that in the troublesome years of Turkey in the 70s and 80s, some of his plays could not be staged because of the fear that they would be too provocative. Just the other day, in a caricature in one of the most popular newspapers of Turkey, the Prime Minister of Turkey had been cast as Hamlet, asking the question, to be or not to be. The Turkish audiences became publicly acquainted with Shakespeare for the first time in the 1840s at the Concordo Theatre with the play Othello with the Turkish title Arabun Aşkı or Intikam Meli. The actor Kamil Rıza became so popular with the part that he was nicknamed Otello Rıza. This play was followed later by Merchant of Venice and Comedy of Errors. The love affair of Turkish audiences and readers has continued to such an extent that in 1977, Metin Erksan directed the Turkish film Kadın Hamlet, starred by Fatma Girik as Hamlet, which was taken to the international film festivals in Moscow and Los Angeles. One of the reviews said it was the most inventive interpretation of Hamlet. Today, with the most recent translations of Professor Talat Halman, the whole corpus of Shakespeare's works have been translated into Turkish, some more than once by different translators. The drama club of our department, which has stayed, staged a play every year, has performed four Shakespeare plays up to the present. A Midsummer Night's Dream was staged twice, 1982 and 95, Comedy of Errors, 2003, Taming of the Shrew, 2004. Today, in this conference, we wish to celebrate the art of Shakespeare in many different ways, and especially from the perspective of Turkish scholars and audiences. At this point, I would like to pay tribute to former generations of translators, actors, and scholars in Turkey who have brought Shakespeare 
to Turkish minds and hearts. I would also like to express our gratitude to the late Professor Engin Uzman, who introduced Shakespeare to many generations at Hacettepe. I would also like to mention late Can Abanazer, our colleague, who wasn't a Shakespeare scholar, but who brought me a pin from his visit to Stratford-upon-Avon, on which was written, when there's a will, there's a play. It was the inspiration for the conference pin we have provided for you. I would like to extend my most heartfelt gratitude to the distinguished speakers who have very kindly accepted our invitation and made this conference possible. I would also like to express my most sincere thanks to the department staff and students whose endless enthusiasm and energy and total devotion has made this organization possible. Last but not least, I wish to thank the State Theatre for their support and the poster exhibition of the Shakespeare plays staged in Turkey. I wish you all a fruitful and enjoyable conference. İyi ki doğdun Shakespeare. Thank you. Thank you.